Dimitri Bivol retains his WBA light heavyweight world title with a 12th round knockout of Sullivan Barrera. This was the first proper look that I've had at Dimitri Bivol. I did see his previous fight where he knocked out the guy in one round, but in a very short fight like that, you don't really see much and you don't really learn too, too much. But here against Barrera, who is a known quantity in the light heavyweight division, I got to see a lot more of him. And the first thing which struck me about Dimitri Bivol is how fast he is. He's got tremendously fast hands and there's a lot of power in those punches. You know, those are not throwaway, pity patty, fast combinations. Those are solidly delivered power punches that he delivers with tremendous speed in combination. So very impressed with his speed and power. He's accurate. He's got a good jab. He seems to take a shot very well. Good combination puncher. Good counter puncher, actually. He was countering very, very well against Sullivan Barrera. And he pretty much dominated the fight from start to finish, despite the fact that he suffered a cut early in the fight due to a clash of heads. Uh, he didn't let that, let that deter him. He outboxed Sullivan Barrera. He dominated him in every department, really. Barrera had his moments. I think he maybe picked up a couple of rounds, but for the most part, it was Bivol all the way. I was impressed. Now, Bivol looks very small next to a guy like Barrera, but trust me, most light heavyweights look small next to Barrera. Barrera looks ridiculously big for a light heavyweight. He's 6'2", and he's got a very big muscular body and a big frame, so everybody looks small next to Barrera. But even so, Bivol doesn't look at first glance, like the biggest light heavyweight. But boy, he's got enough strength and punching power to, you know, hang in there with anybody. So I wouldn't get too distracted by the, the fact that he doesn't look particularly big physically. In terms of his punches, he's very effective. So I was impressed and he closed the show in the 12th round by becoming the first person to stop Sullivan Pereira. And it's you know, always kind of unfortunate you feel when a guy has survived and tried his best all the way up until the 12th round and you sometimes want to see them reach the, the final bell just as a consolation because you know they're going to lose anyway so just as a consolation just for their pride it's nice to see them hear the final bell but Dimitri Bivol showed that his power carries even late into fights and he was able to knock out Sullivan Barrera. Barrera has been down many times before in his career, but he's always got back up uh, to win before, other than when he was dropped by uh, Andre Ward, obviously. But in this case, no, nah, he was stopped by, uh, you know, referee waved it off. And Dimitri Bivol picks up the victory for his first defense as WBA heavyweight, uh, sorry, light heavyweight world champion. Now, this was on the same card as Kovalev versus Mikalkin. I'm going to do a separate video on that. They're talking about a possible unification between Bivo and Kovalev. I'd love to see it. 100% love to see it. I hope it happens sooner rather than later. But who knows? Because Bivo was so young in his career, they might not want to take that step in terms of the people that handle him. They might want to not want to take that step right away. So we'll see. But the light heavyweight division in general is really stacked now. I mean, you've got Bivol, who looks very, very promising. You've got Sergei Kovalev. You've got Adonis Stevenson. You've got Badu Jack. You've got Artur Baturbiev. You've got Alexander Vodsek. You know, you've got all these exciting, big punching light heavyweights at the top of the division. Now, I mean, Jack maybe is not necessarily the biggest puncher, but still... He's usually exciting and entertaining and whatnot. And he's got pedigree coming up from a lower division. So yeah, it's a stacked division right now, like heavyweight. And even in the UK domestically, you've got the likes of Anthony Yard and uh, Joshua Boatsi on the ascendancy. So they'll be mixing it at the top level in a few years time. So a stacked division, great to see talent like Bivo holding a belt at this point in time. And we hope to see unifications and see what happens. As I mentioned in a previous video, the networks might get in the way of some of the unifications because you know Bivo and Kovalev are on HBO. That's cool. They can fight each other. But Stevenson is mainly Showtime. 
and Arta Baturbiev has just signed a deal with top rank, so he's going to be on ESPN. So you do have kind of a fractured situation there with the belts, with different champions on different networks. Hopefully it can be resolved, you know. So let me know what you felt about Dimitri Bivol's performance against Sullivan Barrera. Uh, who would you like to see him fight next? How realistic do you think him versus Kovalev happening in 2018 actually is? Let me know in the comment section, people. It's happening, I'm out.